The following program is rated TV MALV. It contains strong language and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Yep, I'm Yanni. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today, we have a highly requested video from my last story time. Y'all sent that up. I did a poll on like the different stories that I have or that I'm willing to share with you guys. And one of them was the time I almost got caught cheating. So as you can tell by the title, we about to just get into it. And I personally, like, I don't feel like I cheated. I feel like I did like what anybody would do when you were in a situation like that. I felt like I was single I was just dating and it's I didn't have no loyalty to nobody you feel me so I'm going to tell y'all everything how the events happened and all of that and then I want you guys to comment down below DM me whatever and just tell me like yeah girl you're a cheater or no you feel me like they was tripping you did what you had to do whatever so Let's just get straight into it. Boom. So this was like, we're in 2024, right? We're at the top of 2024. This happened in like 2020. Yeah, this happened in like 2020, 2021. So basically or whatever, you know, I'm outside. I'm single or whatever. And it was this dude, like I had just started my business. And it was this dude, like he was friends and like in the circle of like, some of the people I was cool with, like a lot of guys or whatever. And I have a cousin who's like grew up in the same neighborhood. Like she know him, they cool, whatever, whatever. So I'm going to have to call him, we're going to call him Gucci. So I had started my business or whatever. I'm outside with the guys and shit. And Gucci like has started uh inboxing me on facebook or whatever like that so i'm really like not paying him no attention but like i see him or whatever because i'm like i see you outside all the time we don't ever chop it up or whatever so now you in the uh in the inbox trying to politic like y'all know how that shit go right so then um i had launched my business or whatever and this was before it was hideously rich this is when it was hideously heavy i had just launched it so i'm like in the beginning stage or whatever like my entrepreneurship and he was supporting me like he had me pull up on his block or whatever and like he's literally selling my clothes for me y'all like him and his homies they just like selling me out like anything that i had for the pull up like on delivery and shit he was like clearing my trunk out basically so he started supporting my business and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just see what's to him or whatever. So we had started talking and stuff. And then, like, he told me. Well, he didn't tell me. I found out through Facebook, like, he has a son or whatever. That's irrelevant to the story. But, yeah, so, like, me and Gucci, we kicking it. We cool. We chopping it up or whatever. We started kicking it more and more and more. We never made it official. It was never official. It was just, like, we was cool or whatever. So then... I met this other dude who he don't live in the same hood, but he be like around the way or whatever. We gonna call him, damn, no. <laughs> I can't call him that cause y'all really gonna think I'm, if you watch this and you know, you really gonna think I'm talking about if I give him this name. Um, Let me see, so we got Gucci and we got Lucci. Gucci, I mean, we got Gucci and Lucci. So, no, 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 that's too close. I don't want y'all to get Okay, so we got Gucci. That's the dude I was talking to first, okay? And then we got, um, what the fuck? I can't even think because so many of these guys have nicknames. So, if I give this specific person a nickname, I don't want nobody to think that I'm actually talking about that person who real life, like, has that name. So, I'm, it's, it's hard. Okay, so we got Gucci and Prada. Gucci and Prada. So, Gucci, I was talking to him first or whatever. And then I had ended up meeting Prada. And honestly, I think I met Prada at a part. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I'm not talking about. I'm sorry. But I'm not talking about the real Prada. Okay, I'm not talking about Prada Prada. But this is just a nickname that I'm giving out. Because there is a guy named Prada. But I'm not talking about him. This Prada, my Prada, has no dreads, okay? So, 
Um, so I had met Prada and I think I had met him at like a party or something like that. I really don't know. I can't even tell you, honestly. But then we had started chopping it up like on a book and stuff like that. And then we had linked up. He invited me over. He like, I'm going to cook for you, this, this, and that. Ooh, ooh, I think you're pretty, all that. So I'm like, okay, cool. You cook, boom. So I had slid on him or whatever. And he was like cooking me dinner and all that stuff. He was real nice. He was cool. And then me and him started getting serious. Like, he's like, I want you to be my girl. Like, as time went on, he's like, I want you to be my girl. Now, at, mind you, at this time that I started getting serious with Prada, I was not talking to Gucci. Because Gucci had already did, like, some flaky ass shit or whatever. So, I kind of fell back off him a little bit. Um, Actually, you know, what happened was, Gucci had a birthday party. And I went, and I was drunk. And I felt like he didn't really have my back like he should have. Um, it was it was a very embarrassing situation for me, basically, like, after the party. And honestly, I don't know. Like, I was young. I just was too turnt, not really, like, too concerned about my own safety like I should have been. So I can't blame him 100%, which I don't. But I still feel like, you feel me, like, we cool. Whether we we homies or we really like locked in i felt like you should you should like make you should have made sure i got to where i was going safe basically so so i had fell back off gucci or whatever like that then me and prada we kicking it we just every day kicking it every day kicking it i'm getting off work i'm going straight to him type shit so he cooking for me and shit we start talking about the future like all type of shit so i had my own crib well me and my granny was living together he had his own crib him and his cousin so i was always over there like i was never at my own shit i was just at his shit or whatever so i'm over there we kicking it we cool time going on we getting closer and he like y'all want you to be my girlfriend he's literally introducing me to his family bringing me around his family calling me his girl all type of stuff so we were dating. At this point, we are dating. I'm at his crib every day. Like, we damn near live together. Except I don't got, like, a lot of shit over there. But I got shit over there. So, let me change this battery. So, at this point, me and Prada, like, we're dating or whatever. We kicking it. Um, We talking about the future. Like, all that, right? So, I started getting uninterested. We were dating for, like, maybe six, seven months. Maybe not seven, but like six months. And I started getting uninterested in him because we would like talk about goals and stuff. And I already was making like hella money. I was in my bag, bro. And I'm trying to get him like, you feel me? He's saying what he want to do. Woo -woo. I'm taking him to the DMV to like try to get his CDL because he want to get a truck, like all type of stuff. But I just felt like I wanted it for him more than he wanted it for himself. So I started getting uninterested. I started falling back a little bit because I'm like, yeah, I don't know. But we were still kicking it. So one day... Um, Prada had took my car to go get some tents on them, right? We had went. And we put tents on my car. And now, I'm going to say this. Um, back in the day, I, I liked them a little hood. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you feel me? Like, motherfuckers was, was, was in the streets. And, um, uh, one day, we was like, we finna go, we finna go run some errands or whatever. So, we in the car, he driving though. We in my car that we just tinted up and he driving. And he pull up on a block that's like hella familiar. Like, hella familiar. So, I'm leaning my seat back a little bit. Because I'm like, ah, oh, hell nah. Even though I got tents, I'm like, bro. Like, I'm really like the only motherfucker with this type of car. Like, I had a Chevy, a silver Chevy Aveo or some shit like that. And I'm like, motherfuckers know my car, bro. Like, I'm really the only one that come out here with this type of car. So, motherfuckers know. So, now I'm like, damn. Like, you know, I don't... At the time, I still kind of had a little feelings for Gucci. Because we were really locked in. Even though me and Gucci weren't talking. And I, we had, like, I felt bad from him a little bit. It was still like a all-love type of situation, right? So Prada pull up 
on Gucci block, bro. He hop out the car. He go to where they at. Now, mind you, I don't see Gucci. He could be in a crib. He could be sitting in a car. He could be anywhere. But I don't. I just know that I'm not supposed to be over here with another nigga. Like, that's all I fucking know, bro. So, I'm just, like, sitting in the car waiting for Pi to come back. I'm checking my mirrors, checking my windows. So, I'm like, bro, this is... What the fuck is going on? Like, why the fuck is he over here? We've been dating for six months. Like, you ain't never brought up none of these niggas that's on this block. You ain't never talked about this block. Like, nothing. I knew that y'all know each other, but I didn't know that, like, nigga, you could just pull up on a block safely. So, like, 15 minutes go back, come by. Probably get back in the car. We go back to the crib. So, now I'm picking his brain. I'm like, what you was doing over there? Like, who you know over there? Woo, woo. And he like, oh, that's just where I get my drop from. Like, this, this, and that. And I'm like, that's where you get your drop from. So, now I'm feeling dumb because I'm like, this ain't even a big homie. Like, I had the big homie and I fell back from him. And then I come get you. Like, I'm with you. Like, I'm starting to feel some type of way. Because I'm like, um, if that's where you getting your drop from, I need to go back to where I came from. Like, that's just how I felt at the time. Because I was young, like I said. I'm naive and I'm I'm looking for a rush. I'm looking for something to make me feel good. I, you know what I'm saying? Not saying I didn't love myself. But that's just what it was. So now... I'm really trying to fall back from products. I'm like, you already like not trying to like, you know, be better. And then I find out you're the little homie. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? So I had started back talking to Gucci. I had I think I made the first move and I had started like messaging him and stuff. So at simultaneously as I'm texting Gucci. I'm not, I'm not seeing Prada no more. I stopped going to his crib. I'm not talking to him. I damn near ghost him for real. For, like if I'm being a honey, I really ghost him because like I said, I already was falling back because I felt like he wasn't trying to be better and reach his goals. And I'm not that type. My mind set on something. I'm going to work towards it. I'm going to do it. Like you want to smoke, you want to do this, go outside every day, all day and not work towards your goals like i'm cool off you because that ain't gonna do nothing but stress me out when i got my own shit going on like i still got a whole crib that i gotta take care of take care of you know i'm over here i still gotta stay focused because i got my own shit going on you feel me and if i'm steady focusing on trying to get you the cdl trying to figure out where to get you a truck from and all that like and he was older than me y'all at this time i'm like 22 he's like at that time he was like 27 28 he was 26 he was 26. But yeah, so now that I find out he the little homie, I'm all the way cool, chill, like, on a nigga. Like, I'm cool, ranch Dorito, because I'm like, you the little homie, and you ain't even trying to get your shit together. Like, I'm cool. So I'm talking to Gucci and shit. I fell back from Prada. Me and Gucci start back talking. I start linking up with, with Gucci again, and I was kind of like insinuating because he was asking me like when you get tense like he was trying to question me and i'm like damn I'm like yeah i had went and got him a couple months ago like woo, because i don't want to be like oh yeah prada took me to go get him you know what i'm saying like i don't know man that shit was crazy but then yeah so me and gucci had started back talking and then gucci had told me like yeah don't tell nobody that we talking though so i'm like what you mean like we never was telling motherfuckers we was talking but when i tell like my old friends the story and stuff some of them be like bitch you was cheating on you was cheating on prada or you cheated on gucci with prada it wasn't even that at the point in times where i was starting to talk to a motherfucker i was already not talking to the other motherfucker like i stopped talking to gucci started talking to prada Stop talking to Prada, start talking to Gucci. So it was never like overlapping shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I can see why somebody would say it's cheating because it's like when you're in a relationship, it's it's a loyalty thing. And especially because I knew they knew each other. But I they not they're not tight, they're not close, they don't run in the same circle, but they know each other. So I didn't think nothing of it. I really didn't didn't give a fuck. I still don't give a fuck. But a part of me feel like, damn girl, you was cheating. You was outside. Because it was like months at a time where I'm just going back and forth between these two niggas. Which every female 
have that shit going on at some point in time in their life. Like, if any female tell you she ain't never had two niggas at once, she's a fucking liar. If any nigga tell you he ain't had two bitches at one time, he's lying. He's a liar. So, so yeah, that was the time where I almost got caught cheating because Prada took me up on Gucci block. And... You feel me? My car was distinct, but I'm just glad that we had got tense like weeks prior to that because I couldn't be riding through no fishbowl through my nigga block with another nigga. Like, nah. But, but yeah, but to this day, me and Prado, we do not talk. Like, we not cool. I had seen him at a party um, last summer and not, was it last summer? Not last summer, but the summer before last. I seen him at a party or whatever, and like we didn't speak, we didn't speak. But then afterwards, like one of our mutual homies was like, "Yeah, he was feeling some type of way that he seen you there." Ooh, but I just act like his ass, like he didn't exist. I ain't got shit to say to you, my boy. Um, but yeah, but me and Gucci, we cool. Like, I mean, we don't talk, but it's all love with us. If we were to start back talking, like even as friends. It's like all of. But what do y'all think? Do y'all think that I that I was cheating? Y'all think I was just in the streets? I was outside. Y'all think I had a right to stop talking to Prada? Like, I'm young and I'm trying to achieve some shit. And if you ain't on the same page, like. So tell me y'all comment down below. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at yep I'm Yanni. DM me. Let me know. Um, if any guys, if y'all have an input on anything, if y'all feel like I was wrong, if y'all feel like that make women look bad, you know, like I'm 24 now. I was 22 at the time. I have grown a lot. I have grown tremendously as far as, um, who I deal with, my, my type has changed, like all that. So I don't even pay stuff like that any attention in your mind no more like if you a dude interested in me and you in the streets it's an automatic no um if you a dude and i know that you know somebody it's an automatic no for me i'm not putting myself in that situation especially because these niggas be crazy they are off they homie over some pussy and i don't want that that shit on my hands so yeah um but just let me know so thank you guys for tuning in i know this video is like super short but it's a story time like that's what it is thank you guys for watching make sure you follow me on instagram you can follow me on tiktok at yep i'm yanni follow me on twitter at yep i'm yanni um comment down below leave a thumbs up and share don't forget to subscribe if you're not though like Cause I'm gonna be dropping videos. I know I told y'all that like a couple videos ago that I'm gonna be dropping, dropping, dropping. I've been, y'all yeah, been busy. I've been working, but <clears throat> but we gonna get to it. So yeah, I might do another story time today. Cause I did a poll and two stories got votes out of three. So I might as well just go ahead and get y'all the other story time. Um. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.